post, is it? Yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay, so in spite of all the danger, here's the intro then. So on the fourth string, 12th fret, on the, um, did I say 12th fret? 14th fret. 14th fret. Yeah. On the third string, 13th fret. On the second and top string, 12th fret. It's an E chord. You're just actually running an arpeggio up an E chord there. 14, 13, 12, 12. All right, so, and then when you get to the top 12, you play it twice, back to 15 on the second string, down to 12, 12, 15, 12, back here to 10, and then the second finger plays 11 on the um, third string. So 12, 13, uh, 14, 13, 12, 12, 12, 15, 12, 12, 12, 15, 12, 10. 11. Okay. Here's the alternative fingering, which is probably worth practicing as well. Starting on the third string, 9. On the second string, 9. On the top two strings, 12 and 12. So. And then the same thing. Get to the top string, play it twice. 10, 12, 10, 10, 12, 12, 10, 12. And then same ending there, 10 and 11. So just once more, there's the two fingerings. Here's the alternative. Probably both worth practicing. Okay. Here's the chord sequence, very, very simple. E, two, three, four, E, two, three, and E, E seven. B7 and E and A and E. Third line D. E. B7. Bottom line and A. And B7 and E and A and E and D7. You go to the beginning, etc. Great, thank you very much. All right.